I don't know if you heard the news yet, but if you didn't, then in the recent update, Boomer Paragon got another buff. And this time, it's not a damage buff, but a support buff that actually increases the attack speed of all primary things by 10%, including, you guessed it, Paragons. So that means we can buff the Dar Paragon with the Ace Paragon, and for my first test here, I'm gonna try the one Paragon test once again to see how much that, well, 10% makes a difference. Actually, I should clarify, it's precisely an 11.1% increase, since it's precisely a 0.9 cooldown instead of plus 10%. So as you see, I have the Boom Paragon in the bottom right corner, but the problem with this is that I actually can't put in a spot on this map where it won't actually attack, because it does have a very long range attack from the Mold Domination. As you see, it's already doing damage to the bads here, even though the radius of it is so much smaller. So that actually means I can't quite test it this way. So let me go ahead and sell it, and let me do the following. I have another mod here that increases the fire rate of tower, so I'm just going to do 1.1111 on everything, including the dart, and that should basically simulate having the uh, Boom and Paragon buff. Now, I actually haven't tested the Degree 1 Paragon on Logs Easy before. I think the only other test I did this was on uh, Logs Hard, and that got to 138, so... And that was also pre-nerf Dart Paragon, so we won't necessarily have an accurate, um before and after for degree one here. But nonetheless, if you can be 138, I will be happy with that. So here we go. Uh, looks like it's already fallen behind. But look, what if I slow down here? It's actually kind of still holding off despite falling behind so quickly. Yeah, I guess even though it's chasing, the amount of bounce backs it has off the walls there doesn't make it quite like fall further behind like other towers would. And not bad. And now it's time to see if it has enough single charge DPS for round 140. I doubt it though. Yeah, just looking at this, not even close. And that'll do it. So I think without the attack speed there, I'm pretty sure we would have lost two rounds earlier to 138. But now, let's up it to degree 100. And I do have a round to beat for this one. Last time in my all Paragons run, I started with this Star Paragon and it got to 164. But yeah, if you ask me, it's kind of a weird buff they gave the Boomerang Paragon because none of the other Boomerang upgrades uh, that are not from the Paragon gave buffs of any kind. So to me, thematically, I don't know. It doesn't really make too much sense. Like, even after reading the rationale on it on the patch notes, because they usually add a little uh, little text to explain their decisions. Uh, something to do with the range buff for this one, which was the reason why they want to give a uh, supporting attack speed buff to all primary towers. Uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, I'll take it, I guess. So here's the round that we died to last time. I'm going to go ahead and set it strong for the maximum bad damage. And yeah, we're going to beat that with plenty of time to spare. Is that really a 10% speed buff? Because I feel like... I don't know, I felt like it beat it more than 10% easier, if you know what I mean. Oh well. And now for 167 here. Oh, this round looks like... Uh, could be trouble with 4 at B it is. Yeah, we've only got 1 of 4 down, and it's already reaching last bend. I think this is GG, right? Okay, somehow we eat DT still. But yeah, I don't think it's going to even be close with this third bad, so that's a rip, but still plus three rounds. That's kind of what I expected, honestly, for uh, an 11% speed buff. And now for my second test here, I'm going to add the Glaive Dominus, so we have just both primary towers. And I'll just go ahead and set this one to degree 100, because I did again test this before in the same video. These two towers combined made it to round 200 in easy mode, and if I remember, it was actually really, really close. So I feel like with just a tiny bit of attack speed, we can probably beat 200. And I'm not sure about the further rounds, but again, we'll see about that. Other than the attack speed change, yeah, nothing really much has changed in terms of how far these would survive. The Boomerang Paragon just got some price cuts in a recent update, but yeah. Don't remember how the journey to 200 was last time, but so far, nothing has really come close to leaking. And now for round 200... Uh, I should be able to beat bad number one here. It was just number two that I had some troubles with. So I'll switch to strong the moment DTs are gone, like that. On both towers, that is. Actually, I'll do a mix of first and strong just so I can knock back the ZMGs, but I also want to do some bad damage. Although, I guess it doesn't matter. It already ricochets, but you know. It still feels like it's popping at about the same time. Yeah, I don't know if we can clutch up these DTs here. Come on. Um, It popped. And it looks like it's going to be closer. Okay, maybe I just need to put on last a little bit earlier. Because, yeah, bad number one seemed to have a lot of leeway. So here's what I mean. Last on the uh, uh, Dark Paragon, then back to first over here. Let's see if that makes a difference. All right, waiting, waiting. Okay, that was really close. Back to strong now. And any better? Yep, it popped earlier, but we still lose. Okay, so 
Guess I need to get even more damage on bat number two. So I guess this time we'll put both Paragons on last. And then switch to first finally now. And again, we should be able to pop the DTs. Wow, okay. Maybe this isn't possible then, because if I can't beat the bads with that much distance, or the DTs, then how do I expect to beat the bads with, well, that much distance over there? Well, I guess this testing might all be for nothing then. So watch again. Yeah, there's like no- I don't know why it's, it's taking so long to pop DTs. Well, that's it, I guess. It's close, but... But nonetheless, these two Max Paragons still end up at the same round. And now for the next showcase. I want to see if it was a viable strategy at all to use this Paragon Synergy in a boss. Because, obviously, Paragons are made for bosses. They give it extra elite boss damage. Not for no reason, you know. And this one is an elite lich on Spice Islands. Just for those out of the know. I've gone ahead and skipped the early game because there's not really much to it. It's just boat farming with two mark places because there's not enough space for uh, mark place spam. And we're going to use the Elite Defender, which also got a buff in the recent update. Basically, they gave the Elite Defender increased mob damage, which they took away from uh, the cross battling of 235. But it actually still is a plus one damage buff, if I recall correctly. Anyways, let us play. I'm pretty sure I just need... A plain elite defender. No other buffs to it. I guess if I want more damage, yeah, let me go ahead and put on a last because there's pretty much like barely any balloons like coming out in the first place. So it should be fine for the E def to uh, waste a couple shots just to uh, get more attack speed. And yeah, the plan is after really beating Late Lich, I'm just gonna sell the E def for a train apart army, which got nerfed a couple updates ago. So now you kind of don't want to go for the train apart unless you get like 15 merchant man. So uh, I'll see where the money's at. I also put it back on first. The Sniper. Just because at this point, we kind of needed to heal that Lich Soul ASAP. Yeah, beating Elite Lich is still as hard as ever. And also just uh, made a mini mistake. I put my Elite Defender too close to the Lich. So it's taking away the buff where it gains force attack speed when I lose lives. But nonetheless, I'm pretty sure I should still be able to beat it. I'd say we have plenty of track length left. And yeah, we just got to beat the Soul here. And hopefully, Lich does not stun the EDF. Okay, good. I don't care if it stuns it right here. That's fine. That's fine. But yeah, we're in for a massive payday once we finally finish off uh, Elite Lich here. So it took six rounds. And let me go ahead and sell now. For how many do I have? I'm actually... Uh, I'm so close to the uh, train of heart. I'm just going to buy it now. That is how many boats? 14. Yeah, that's pretty much perfect. And now I need to beat a, an F Moab. Uh, I'll try to see if I can... Uh, Hang on, I'll sell a marketplace too. Forget. We just gotta pop these because it already is Trojan on them. And uh, okay, we're good. And I think what I'll do now for the F mobs is just put a deep breath over here. This will basically snipe anything that the trap doesn't get. And honestly, with boat spam, it could also do a little bit of damage too. There's a maxed out boat army, by the way. 20 merchantmen. Still need to get them favorite trades, of course, or flavored. So I'm gonna get that next. And honestly, we're in a good spot. Even though boat farms got nerfed heavily. Clearly, there was probably a reason for the nerf, considering, again, just how much we're able to farm up post-nerf, if that makes any sense. So, we just have plenty of money to be able to go for some beefy Paragon. So, I'm mainly going to be, like, trying to see how much a high-level Dart and Boomer can, can get. Probably not enough to beat a Tier 5 Elite Lich. I'm pretty sure this week's has 80% speed and 40% extra health, as you see as with the modifiers over here. And again, considering they are the weakest of the Paragons... Probably shouldn't expect even two of them to be able to solo tier. So I probably need some support, but I honestly bet they could do pretty well for tiers, well, three and four. So if I have a little more time here to squeeze out some greedy farms, let's do one central market for, well, one buff on the boats. And yeah, I think I'm sitting pretty coming into tier two here. So I know this isn't good, but I'm actually just going to get some damage ahead of time. So I'll do a cross to master, and I'll probably just get a... Either an Avatar of Wrath or a Mad. I'm thinking because I don't have the Avatar of Wrath money right off the bat. I'm just going to go for a Mad because it has full map range. I'll put an Island 1 because my right two islands are uh, already occupied. So yeah, there's the Mad. I shouldn't really need anything more than this, I hope. I guess because I put it on the first island, I can actually feel free to go for an Overclock. Or, I don't know, an Alp buff. If I decide that we're kind of falling behind to Elite Lich. So far, so good though. I'm going to see if I can greet for... Uh, a monkey of Wall Street in the middle of trying to beat this thing. Another ability. I think we'll probably end up being fine here, but just because 
let's just do an overclock. In terms of difficulty, it seems like this week isn't too bad. Again, money's looking solid, especially with the boat farming strategy. We have the overclock mad now. Can you use the overclock to buff, I don't know, a central market later on in the game? And how much did, hang on, let me just beat this first. Good. The, uh, the Crossmaster got an extra 50k pop, so I'll take that, honestly. That'll be a nice head start in our, you know, degree game. So GG's tier 2. And now since I'm out of land space, I gotta start branching out. So let's start building a line of farms in the water. Or sorry, ice is in the water. So that I can fit, of course, more farms. There's my instant banana central. And let me just go for ultra boost right now too. And just like that, folks, we have created the infinite money glitch. Now I actually should be going for central markets because again, didn't get 10 of them yet. So I'm just going to stop at that 1B central. I also just realized that this is a really bad spot for the Ultra Boosted Farm because Lich does take that away, by the way. So I'm just going to put it in the very back and uh, I guess hope Lich doesn't never, never gets this far and we'll rebuff it. I could probably fill out more of the water with more farms, but honestly, I think I'm good. So tier 3, I'm just going to go for a makeshift Boomer Paragon because I don't want to get rid of the 200k pups on the uh, dart I've already gotten. So it's best to just go for a quick degree 1 Boomerang take this down. I probably should sell a farm instead of waiting, but I'll wait. Just need one round end, and there it is, Glaive Dominus. I hope I got it early enough, because I feel like, I don't know, I wasted a good amount of time. I could have been spent getting some good damage in, I guess, in the meantime, yep. Let's go for the uh, Super Riddle. This one also gets 10% attack speed, so I'll just go range, just so we can get that plus damage earlier. And while I'm already here, I might as well go for the Kruber Moab, so 502. And tell me if this works, please, before getting to the uh, farm over there. Ignore the set degree, by the way. I just forgot to disable the mod from earlier. We'll make sure to play this run out very legally. And uh, I'm pretty sure the last uh, skull there, the boomerang is out of range for. So I don't, I don't know. Is it able to like snipe? Yeah, ricochet back. There we go. Thank you. And it's so close. It healed. Yep. It took away the farm, farm stacks, which is uh, bad. And now it seems it's left. Wait, no, no. We got it. It was down to 30k HP when the boomerang stopped attack, but luckily it had one more attack in it. Again, the out of range Mobadom attack. Also, I'm just going to go ahead and ultra boost the farm again. Don't worry. Next time I'll have two Paragons and tier 4 Elite Lich, hopefully, shouldn't get further than that. So, $1.4 million to work with, but I'm just going to start again with just a Dark Paragon. I've got as high of a degree as I can possibly get. With the pops, and that's only 44. Uh, I'll actually see if I do need a Boom Paragon. If I don't, I might just save it for Tier 5. Right now, I actually am going to need it. Wow. Them Lich DTs are scary. And I guess while we're already here, I'm just going to max out the Boom Paragon and keep this uh, for the rest of the game. So, let's go. This should be around degree 25 or so. Uh, 30, actually. Yep, that's about right. We shall add a Glue Storm for the plus 2 damage, and uh, let's go again. Should be way better for DTs this time, because, well, we have the Boom Paragon to slow him down. Knock him back. So let's see, uh, DDTs, yeah, I don't, I don't see them show up at all, so that means we're doing something, right? Uh, I see DTs now, yeah, we're, we're, we're good, though, we're good. And all in all, that's going to make for a pretty fast and easy Tier 4 kill, but based on the progress of here, there's no shot we can solo uh, Tier 5, because, again... Spice Islands uh, doesn't quite have a loop around back to the, uh, well, the range of these guys. Maybe I should put the boomerang a little bit more to the right so I can snipe the exit, because that's what's, you know, kind of better for. That's okay, though. Uh, if I do need another Paragon, it's going to be a boat, because look how much money I'm already making with the boats. This will be a pretty beefy degree, if I had to guess. And just in advance, I'll sell the farm that had the Ultra Boost stacks, just so Lich has no way of stealing stacks anymore. And I guess while we're at it, I'll just remove some clutter, so we'll just make it easier for ourselves. Sell the Ice Towers, I'll sell a bunch of farms at once. And I'll just go ahead and keep that White Island for, again, the mist stuff, like the uh, Sniper and the Glue Storm. And here we go, $2 million, so if I die, it's not going to be a problem if I just spend more money. I'm also going to wait a little bit, just to see how long it takes for me to even get to, like, one skull. Actually, I guess I should add one more Ice Platform. I forgot to... Go for a Chinook so I can move my uh, Ice Tar around. Right now, we're not getting the uh, Super Brittle buff. Actually, I don't need to move it. It's already going to be in range very soon. And yeah, it took that long to get one Skull. No chance. So what degree is this going to be? At least 40 to 60, if I'd guess. 
62. All right, that's beautiful. Very nice. So on top of being a higher degree, this one should also do more DPS because it's, well, more expensive than the other Paragons. Uh, Dark currently sitting at 10. Boomerang at 11, so wow. Even with the 10% buff, Dark Paragon is not doing as well. Probably because on this map, uh, there's just not very many good bounces. Like, if it's not near corner, Dark Paragon does pretty well, awful. And I, I'm pretty sure I saw that it took away a buff or a Lich Heal from some, some sort of buff. I'm not sure what buff I had earlier, but that's not good. Uh, this progress does not look good, though. Halfway... And it's already going to exit the range of the Boomerang and the Dart. So my DPS is going to drop immensely. So again, I have infinite money. So I'm just going to go for the other uh, Paragons that can buff each other. So the Glass Doomship plus Neighbor Combo. Yeah, I'm going to need this soon because you saw just how close the uh, the Lich Soul was. I should just try to scrape a higher degree with like two Spectres. Uh, not very amazing, but whatever degree... Was it two? Seven, okay. Better than nothing. Uh, Wing Monkey. Quickly. And here comes another Lich Soul. And I'm going to move my Esprit. Where? Uh, I actually don't have room for an Esprit. The thing is, you actually can't move them on the Frozen Platform. So, whatever. We're going to pretend that doesn't exist. And yeah, I guess we're just going to see if we can somehow clutch up. With Lich almost at the exit. Probably not, though. Uh, here is uh, Second Last Skull. Uh, we beat it, but yeah, that that's too late. Again, nothing to worry about, though, because we just have to restart with everything from the jump. And we got this. I just want to see how close we are for, for the test. Just out of curiosity, I'm still holding off on getting the Ace Paragon, because I just got the full Paragon from the jump, and it's looking a lot better. We already got halfway. Uh, judging from this, though, we're still going to need some help, so let's go for the Paragon now. It should be a high degree this time, because I even got more pops, so degree 15. Very epic. And this time I actually made space for my Esprit, so let's go ahead and move it over. Let's give it a nice fat range buff with the P Expertise. And yeah, that's going to be a GG for this boss, provided I can beat the Lich Soul right here. So let me time the Carpet Bomb. Come on, come on, come on. Get it? Nice. At this point, it's all down to use Code Ice Hat, because there's no other tower, no other Paragon doing a lot of damage. And there it is. Took four Paragons to beat Elite Lich this time, and let's take a look at the Pop Count once again. Old Paragon, doing most of the carry work. And yeah, in essence, we only really got 1.4 million extra damage with the Boomer Paragon buff, but still, a nice buff nonetheless. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, subscribe for more. See you next time.